A fight over what can be called milk could change the way products are labeled in the dairy aisle. The dairy industry and some members of Congress say the label should be reserved for milk from a cow. Errol Barnett has more on what's at stake. We have seen a drop off in um, consumption of dairy products and also we have seen a significant price drop. Patty Leonard's family has been farming in Northern Virginia for almost a century. She says non-dairy alternatives to milk are cutting into her livelihood. They're trying to imitate milk and I think that says a lot. They're trying to be what milk already is. Her beef is with plant-based products like almond and soy milk, a growing industry which generated $1.4 billion this year and grew 54% over the last five years. Dairy milk sales are down 11% for 2016. So 32 members of Congress from dairy-producing states are urging the Food and Drug Administration to enforce its existing definition of milk, which states it is obtained by the complete milking of one or more healthy cows. Chris Galen is with the Milk Producers Federation. In the case of milk, you're getting vitamins A and D, calcium, and a whole lot of protein. You're not necessarily getting those things in a glass of imitation dairy milk. Nancy Chapman of the Soy Foods Association disagrees. When you drink soy milk, it is equal in terms of its ability to support growth and development. And consumers like Carla Borden like having choices. I think it should continue to be called milk. Uh, it's used like milk. Now, the FDA, which historically avoids weighing in on the milk debate, said it would respond directly to the congressional letter. But with more choices flooding the grocery store, it may be consumers who can milk this for all it's worth. Errol Barnett, CBS News, Washington. The almond industry told CBS News their products are also fortified with vitamins and calcium, and they believe it's up to the consumer to decide.